and welcome dear students on my youtube channel today i am going to discuss question answers of chapter 10 of class 7 that is soil aaj hum chapter 10 ke question answers ko discuss karenge so let us start with fill in the blanks first is various layers in the soil are called soil horizons soil mein jo alag alag tarah ke layers hote hain use soil horizons kehte hain the intermediate particles that are neither too rough nor too smooth are termed as silt. Aise particles jo bohut rough ya bohut smooth nahi hote hain, use silt kehte hain. Cohesion is the tendency of similar particles to stick to one another. Cohesion ke dwara ek tarah ke particles aapas mein chipke rehte hain. Number four is Soil air is important for roots to carry out respiration. Mitti ke beech mein jo hawa hoti hai, usse peed ki jade saans leti hai. Is liye vah zaruri hai, important hai. Number 5. Chemical pesticides and fertilizers causes soil pollution. Bohut jyada chemical fertilizers and Pesticides ke istamal se soil pollution hota hai, mitti ka pradushan hota hai. Now match the following. Potter soil. Potter soil ko hum clay se match karenge, kyunki clay ke dwara uh, potters uh, tere tere ke khilone ya bhartan banate hai. Organic material. Humus. Humus is organic material. Vermi compost. Vermi compost is done by Earthworms. Earthworms ke dwara vermi composting kiya jata hai. Number 4 is sandy soil. Sandy soil is well aerated. Us mein bohut gap hota hai jis mein achhi hawa hoti hai. Number 5 is concrete floor. Concrete floor ko no percolation se hum match karenge. Now tick the correct option. Which of the following is not an agent of physical weathering? Wind, water and temperature, physical agent hai, lekin organic acid, physical agent nahi hai. To aap uh, organic acids ko tick karenge. Second is, which of these is the lowest horizon of soil profile? Soil profile ka lowest horizon kya hota hai? Lowest horizon ko hum beds rock kehte hai. So you will have to tick bed rock. Third is, which organism is known as nature's plowman? Nature's plowman kis ko kehte hai? The answer is earthworm. Kyunki earthworm mitti ko dheela karta rehta hai. Plowman ki tarai. Next is, which soil can retain more water? Kaun se soil mein zyada paani reh sakta hai? Bohut deer tak paani us mein reh sakta hai. The answer is clay soil. Number 5. Coconut trees thrive in coastal regions where soil present is mainly sandy soil. Coastal regions mein sandy soil hote hain jahan coconut trees grow karte hain. Answer the following questions in brief. First is state the meaning of the term soil. Soil ka matlab kya hota hai? Wo aapko batana hai. Answer is Soil is the naturally occurring loose covering of broken rock particles and decaying organic matter on the surface of the earth. Second is, list the four main agents of physical weathering. Physical weathering ke four agents aapko yaha batane hai. The answer is, temperature, water, wind and plants and animals are the main agents of physical weathering weathering third is write one difference between sand clay and silt sand clay and silt mein aapko ek antar batana hai answer is the bigger particles of soil are termed as sand the smaller smooth particles are clay and the intermediate particles that are neither too rough nor too smooth are termed as silt Number 4. Name the types of soil classified on the basis of soil texture. Soil texture ke basis pe uh, jo soil ko classify kiya gaya hai unke naam batane hai. 
Answer is on the basis of soil texture, soil is classified into three categories sandy soil, clay soil, and loamy soil. Number five, give the meaning of the term cohesion. Cohesion ka matlab aapko batana hai. The answer is cohesion is the tendency of similar particles to stick to one another. एक जैसे पार्टिकल्स जो आपस में चिपके रहते हैं उस टेंडेंसी को कोहेशन कहते हैं नंबर सिक्स लिस्ट एनी थ्री कॉजेज ऑफ सॉयल पोल्यूशन सॉयल पोल्यूशन के थ्री कॉजेज आपको बताने हैं द आंसर इज थ्री कॉजेज ऑफ सॉयल पोल्यूशन आर फर्स्ट केमिकल पेस्टिसाइड सेकेंड एक्सेसिव यूज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड थर्ड इज डिस्चार्ज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल वेस्ट इन टू द सॉयल इंडस्ट्री से जो वेस्ट है अगर उसे डायरेक्ट मिट्टी में डाल दिया जाए तो सॉयल पोल्यूट होता है नाउ लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इज क्लासीफाई एंड एक्सप्लेन द कैटेगरीज ऑफ सॉयल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टेक्स्चर ऑफ द सॉयल टेक्स्चर सॉयल के टेक्स्चर के बेसिस पे उसका क्लासीफिकेशन भी करना है और उसे एक्सप्लेन भी करना है आंसर On the basis of soil texture, soil is classified into three categories. First is sandy soil. Sandy soil have soil particles that are bigger in size and the large spaces between them are filled with air. Second is clay soil. Clay soil have higher proportion of fine and smooth soil particles. There is very less space between soil particles. and the third one is loamy soil loamy soil is a mixture of sand silt and clay particles it can hold both air and water air and water loamy soil has humus also it is considered to be best soil for growing most of the crops now number 2 differentiate between infiltration tray and percolation tray Answer is absorption of water by soil depend on its infiltration and percolation rate. Soil कितना water absorb कर सकता है ये depend करता है उसके infiltration and percolation rate पर So ये uh, what are these? Infiltration rate. Infiltration is the rate at which water enters the soil. While Percolation is the rate at which water moves through the soil. Number three, write a short note on composition of soil. Soil के composition पे आपको एक short note लिखना है. Answer is composition of soil depends on nature of parent rock and the quantity and type of organic materials present in it. Soil contains inorganic substances derived from the parent rock and organic material like humus. Spaces between the soil particles contain air and water. Soil has many type of organisms like bacteria, fungi and algae. Number 4. The type of crop that may be grown in a particular field depends on the type of soil. Give three examples in support of this statement. The answer is the type of crop may be grown in a particular field depends on the type of soil. For example, cereal crops like wheat and legumes grow well in clay and loamy soil. Cotton grows well in sandy loam and coconut trees grow well in sandy soils. तो आप देखिए अलग अलग प्रकार के मिट्टी में अलग अलग तरह के क्रॉप्स उगते हैं नंबर फाइव इज वॉट इज सॉइल इरोजन सॉइल इरोजन क्या है हाउ कैन इट बी अवॉइडेड इसको हम कैसे अवॉइड कर सकते हैं कैसे इसको हम रोक सकते हैं द आंसर इज द रिमूवल ऑफ टॉप सॉइल बाय एजेंट सच एज विंड एंड वाटर कॉजेज सॉइल इरोजन मिट्टी की ऊपरी सतह के कटाव या बहाव को जो हवा या पानी के द्वारा होता है उसे सॉइल इरोजन कहते हैं सॉइल इरोजन कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड बाय फर्स्ट एक्सटेंसिव 
afforestation practices and second is avoiding over grazing and over use of land soil erosion ko roka ja sakta hai agar hum bahut zyada sankhya mein ped paudhe lagaye aur dusra over grazing yani pashuon ke dwara mitti pe ugne wale paudhon ki charai aur over use of land ko agar hum rok sake control kar sake to hum soil erosion ko rok sakte hain now number 6 Why is it said that plasticity and cohesion play an important role in workability of the soil? ऐसा क्यों कहा जाता है कि plasticity and cohesion का बहुत important role है soil की workability के लिए The answer is, plasticity and cohesion reflect the consistency and workability of the soil. This property is utilized in particle. इन प्रैक्टिस फॉर मेकिंग क्ले पॉट एंड टेराकोटा टॉयज मिट्टी की इसी प्रॉपर्टी के कारण मिट्टी के पॉट्स और खिलौने बनाए जाते हैं नाउ वैल्यू बेस्ड क्वेश्चन लेट एस सी द शॉर्ट स्टोरी फर्स्ट ऑन द ओपनिंग डे द स्कूल प्रिंसिपल एंड टीचर्स वेलकम द पेरेंट्स एंड गार्डियंस ऑफ द न्यू स्टूडेंट्स स्कूल के ओपनिंग डे पर प्रिंसिपल और टीचर्स ने पेरेंट एंड गार्डियंस का स्वागत किया The principal went on to say that the parent and the teachers both have a crucial role to play in the growth and development of children. उन्होंने बताया कि टीचर और पेरेंट दोनों को ही बच्चों के ग्रोथ और डेवलपमेंट के लिए एक क्रूशियल रोल प्ले करना होता है She compared their roles with the role of physical and chemical agents that cause the weathering of soil. उन्होंने उनके रोल को फिजिकल एंड केमिकल एजेंट्स के रोल से कंपेयर किया जिससे कि मिट्टी बनती है मेक इट एंड मेक इट सुटेबल फॉर सपोर्टिंग एंड सस्टेनिंग द ग्रोथ ऑफ ऑल फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ जो कि उन्हें उस लायक बना देता है जिससे कि वे लाइफ के अलग अलग फॉर्म्स को सपोर्ट और सस्टेन कर सकें नाउ क्वेश्चन वन हेयर इज state any two of the values that parent teachers generally display during the growth of their children bachcho ki growth mein parents or teachers kaun se values display karte hain the answer is parents and teachers support and sustain the growth of their children second is write in brief the role of plants and animals second solvent action of water in the weathering of the soil सो लेट एस सी द आंसर प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स का रोल देखते हैं प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल लाइक लाइकन्स एंड मॉसेस ग्रोइंग ऑन बेयर रॉक कैन कॉज अ ग्रेजुअल डिग्रेडेशन ग्रासेस शर्ब्स एंड ट्रीज हेल्प टू एक्सटेंड द क्रैक थ्रू द ग्रोथ ऑफ देयर रूट्स सेकेंड हेयर इज सॉल्वेंट एक्शन द सॉल्वेंट एक्शन ऑफ वाटर कैन डिजोल्व the soluble salts and form solutions for the hastens the process of weathering is se weathering soil ki weathering ka process bahut hi fast ho jata hai i hope you all understand these question answers